are. Let's move on to the main event, which is reviewing, uh, reviewing the game Alien. Sorry for calling it Aliens earlier, even though Aliens <sighs> is in the game. Yeah, so it's confusing. It's two games in one, but it's only called Aliens. So you no really S. shouldn't go wrong, I guess. With and, it. and we're from Buffalo, where everybody puts an S on the end of everything. That's right. Reason. Inside jokes. <laughs> so Alien is... Um, so I was in, in reviewing some materials for this game, I found the flyer, and the flyer said, shipping in 2016, but not really. It's a, it's a 2017 game, I would call it. It's just really starting to ship. There were some, uh, some uh, early release games out there last year, but this is a game from Highway Pinball. It's their second game. Their first was um, Full Throttle. It uses this wider cabinet with uh, the swappable play field LCD screen in the play field and in the back box. Um, it's uh, so it's a wide body. It's got tons of flippers, tons of shots. Uh, I've got a I've got a graphic here somewhere. Where is it that shows like all the possible shots on this game? It's it's ridiculous. Um, but there are only a few out there right now, and we were lucky enough to get one in Buffalo. Pocketeer Billiards picked one up. Uh, so I went down there and I streamed it. it was about a month ago now. And I had a great time on it. I was like, this game is awesome. Uh, all the things we kind of were hoping for out of Star Wars is like, where's where's the, the moments and things like that? This game has them. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll kind of dig through them uh, piece by piece as we go here. So I'm uh, going to give everybody the heads up because I, 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 you know, I have no patience. This is going to be a spoiler. <laughs> I think Kevin and I are usually on the same page of everything. This is going to be the one game I think we review where we're just – a chasm of differences maybe maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see. see maybe we'll you change see. it maybe we'll see okay well so. i know there was one early on <laughs> yeah we had an early disagreement about yeah. it but maybe things have changed so let's talk about the art on alien uh, uh i'm sorry brian effing dykeman in chat writes do you think aliens like pancakes <laughs> normally well, i don't read the chat on, on our <laughs> podcast but you know thanks. just think about that i think guys. they like doritos yeah um so let's talk about the art on alien alien is it's honestly after talking about uh avatar it's kind of of that same feel it's got like movie assets and license feel like it, it it's the play field isn't quite as photoshoppy looking but it's definitely using you know he, and I, I heard an interview with uh Oric, uh lawson was the artist on here yeah and kind of when the play field art came out people freaked out and they're like oh my god we want hand drawn and he basically he was given a bunch of pictures to use and that was what he got to use so he used them uh as best he could and i think atmospherically when you're playing the game and everything's on it it looks good it's not great um but it's okay yeah you know it's funny when when the art was revealed um i was like oh okay that's it right like mm -hmm. but n when seeing it in the game and this is not just like when we talk about stern art being bad and oh it's not that bad in person like it looks good as part of an entire package mm -hmm. like it's some play some art on play fields look so good that you just hang them up on your wall and you don't need whatever goes on with it this is art that really conforms and and just really works well as an entire package with the toys on and the layout and all that and just the atmosphere of the game so i i think i think the art's really good for 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 what it is yeah but if you i think what people wanted was remember the bally space invaders game with it was basically a ripoff of alien art that's what they wanted i i people who like alien want that hr geiger 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 um art they want that style oh on a game. i guess i don't really okay yeah i don't i don't so i think originally that was the disappointment people okay people wanted that style and now, i'm not an aliens fan i've never seen yeah. the movie so you can just go crucify me right now <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I also don't oh. like Star Wars. Oh, so Jesus. Everyone. All right, I'm sh we're shutting the podcast down. I'm just making it. you oh. the most popular bro. All right, Kevin. You know, you're, you're, you're Mr. Likeability Well, I, I never saw um, <laughs> Flash Gordon, so that... that I haven't either. That, oh, Jesus. Can we get that? I was trying to help you out there. We can... Uh, well, we'll have a viewing. We should get that for the... Um, anyways, we'll have a viewing of Flash Gordon at some point. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll fix these problems. All right, let's back on track here. Um, so that's the art. The sound... The sound, I think, is really freaking good in this game. And it, um, it's a David Thiel experience. So if you like, actually, he did Tron. He did um, Dialed In. He Iron did Man. Time Machine, where you time go back in time. He did Time Machine, too. Yeah. Right. yeah. He did Iron Man. I mean, <laughs> David Thiel crushes it. Um, He's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot to like about the music in this game. Uh, it's got that atmospheric sound and feel. And the music and the sound effects are awesome, especially when you get like Sentry Gun multi ball going, and it's got the you have that you rip the spinner and the machine guns start going off. It's it's got those moments. It's got you know you start the the one Xenomorph multi ball if it actually works, 
uh, spoiler alert. Um, and like all the lights go off and it's like, it, and it makes like these awesome sounds and, and the presentation is really where this game shines. Um, so yeah, I think the sound is great. I was, I was won over by the presentation, like my first game. Um, you know, I wasn't, I like, I kind of watched your stream for a little bit, mm-hmm. I, just like five minutes. So I didn't see too much of it, but I stepped up the game and I, it just looked very well done. The presentation, I know we're getting into the LCD and, and, and stuff, but looked really good between the sound and that. It just blew away Star Wars, all right? And, and really impressed by it. And there was a moment, I think, when um, sort of the, the flipper side and the lights go out mm-hmm. and, like, the pulse come, like, the alien. And I, I had, like, kind of like a tingle on the back of my spine. It got me for a second. I'm like, damn, I might have to get this game. Mm-hmm. But let's continue. It's, it's just maybe not so I've fast. seen Star Wars Hool. All right, I, I've seen it. <laughs> He's seen it. He just doesn't like That's it. That's what I can say. I don't like it. <laughs> then all again, right. I was a cynical 17-year-old. That's right. So, All right, toys. You got to talk about the Xenomorph head, right? Uh, yeah, it fucking broke. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Like, I played it at the right time. It had been there a little bit. Jeff um, Becker said he had spent a bunch of time getting it working right. Uh, the Xenomorph head worked. That was like the one thing when this game came out. Was it Expo last year, 2016? Uh, they brought a few of these out, and the Xenomorph head didn't work, and everybody was really disappointed because they had put out this awesome promo video where it shows the the tongue coming out and grabbing the ball and pulling it back in and off you go to multi-ball um it worked for me it was awesome it was you know you can see my reaction in the video if you've seen it it's just like this is great this these are the these are the pinball moments we live for uh, but unfortunately it doesn't quite hold up the way we it broke hope. on my fifth game i ever played of it right and then i had to shut the game off and walk away yeah and that's uh uh, that's kind of the experience like a lot of folks were coming in for the summer open and they were really excited to get to play this. I know Ed Zoltman was one of them um, because he's in on the game. He He's written up a rule sheet about this game just from watching videos and stuff like that. And it just kept restarting and having all sorts of problems. And it was really a disappointment for, for a lot of folks who came out. Um, but other than the, the Xenomorph head, that's the main toy. That's really the only toy on the game right that's it i yeah. mean there's a, there's what like two lcd because you got an lcd screen embedded in it that's not a toy mm-hmm. but then you got an lcd screen in the game right um but yeah i think that's it i don't think there's anything else yeah the and but the, i mean the, the the game is loaded with stuff i mean the pop bumpers have like the alien eggs on in there like it is it is populated it looks like a kind of a living breathing world right it's not a sparse game it, it looks legit uh-huh. That's the one thing I thought when I saw this. I was like, this looks like a legit game yeah. with high presentation quality. I'm impressed by just kind of just like looking at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a, the, I love the, the pop upper tops with the, the eggs. Those are awesome looking too. It's, it's got definitely got the presentation thing down. Let's talk DMD and lighting or uh, display the, the LCD screen and lighting. Um, so I will say the LCD screen is, is very well done. It's got the, kind of look and feel of like a monitor in that time frame. This yeah. movie came out in like the, the seventies ish, late seventies. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's got a lot of those kind of like retro looks to it. Um, and so it incorporates the, the movie clips. Well, it presents information pretty well. The, the drawn parts of it are, are presented well. It does, it doesn't have alphabet soup or, or font soup on it that we criticize some of the times on these uh, LCD screens. It, you know, in general, it's really well done. The lighting, on the other hand, uh, about two hours into the stream, my um, my little LED light went out, and it's so freaking dark. This is what I don't. This is unforgivable. This is why I do not understand. Why is the lighting so dark on that game? Yeah, like. So when I went to play it, the sound location, they didn't have lights on over like this bank of games, which normally isn't a problem, right? You know, there's games from 1979 there. You mm-hmm. can see them. Why can't I see aliens? Why can't I see alien? Like, why is it so dark? I had to go and turn the lights on. That's the only way to, the only way to play this atmospheric, creepy game, right? <laughs> Think about the theme, mm-hmm. is with full lights on. You yep. cannot play it in the dark. Which yep. is stupid because, every, you know, Stern does a good job. Jersey Jack does a good job of keeping their games so light. We have LEDs. Why is that a thing? Yep. That, to me alone, is a major problem. Yep. So I was looking around. And so I, it, when I was streaming, people were asking me, like, well, how's the light look? And I was like, well, it's got, like, these, like, light tubes on it. It's not even, like, bulbs in it. I was like, because at first I was like, well, if it's too dark, you just, you know, get some some LEDs, some, some like, brighter LEDs and put it in the GI. And it'd yeah. be good, but you can't do that because 
how, what they do is like there's like a little LED on a board underneath the play field and it shines up through this like um, this frosted tube that's supposed to like project light out onto the no, play it's field. not good either yeah I think it's kind of how the first uh, versions of the Wizard of Oz were remember how dark those yeah were? I don't yeah those those are bad too they're right. too they're too dark um, so that's a big problem I mean you can throw some spotlights on the game you know there are there are things you can do add on um, to kind of Re- resolve some of this but out of the box it's just way yeah too dark. people are saying like rubber ducks are yellow in the chat says it's a lot darker than than rob zombie i agree it mm-hmm. is super that game is super unnecessarily dark and yep. that's not for the atmosphere it is totally not you can have a game that's bright and like flicker or dim like on walking dead yeah does mm-hmm. like walking dead um the premium i have and the le they do a great job of the atmosphere of that while still being able to see the ball. Mm-hmm. Um, clearly, Highway has not figured out how to do that. That's yeah. what's that's what's going on. Yeah, so it's it, it's a shame. So um, that's your that's your DMD and lighting. Let's talk about gameplay. I know I know you want to <laughs> I know you want to talk about gameplay here. What <laughs> gameplay? <laughs> Kick it off. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a clunky turd. <laughs> 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 Boom! They say brevity is the soul of wit. Uh, well, listen, uh, my first game, I think I texted Kevin. Like I was just blown away with the presentation and how it looked. I was like, I think I might have to get this game. And then I just saw it for what it is, and it is just a clunk fest. That's not to say that there aren't good shots in there that feel good, but like for every shot that feels good, there's like two or three which is just clunky. And the problem that I was having with it is that none. <laughs> Where I thought a shot was, it wasn't. You know, like I would line it up, I would hit it, and I would miss. And I'm like, why? That shot should be here, and yet it's not. Yeah. Like um, that comment was on Coast to Coast when uh, was it Josh who was on it, and he was just talking like you can play um, a Steve Ritchie game with your eyes closed, and the shot's just there. You know, like it just feels like butter, and that is what makes Steve Ritchie so damn good. Mm-hmm. Is that the shots feel? good yeah um on alien they just don't and it's very frustrating like the scoop i was trying to hit it and you know i don't know if uh, there's no excuse for it. i was gonna say maybe because it's a wide body but you know um demo man it's like butter demo man's a wide body and smooth and shots feel good with where they're at i don't know if it's the way that the flippers are on a highway pinball machine i don't know if it's the geometry i don't know what is going on in that game but it's just a clunk fest let me give you another example. Um, one of the things that you have to do to light modes is you got to hit like the in lanes. So you hit one like the left ramp and the right ramp, and you know as it comes off of it, it will hit the in lane. And once you do both of those, it will light a mode. Well, first of all, the the mode start shot. I was just breaking left and right. And when I was watching the stream of you guys playing it, I noticed it. I I, I saw that. I was like, wait a minute, that looks really clunky. It looks like something's wrong. And then when I played it, I was like, yeah, this just doesn't feel right. But anyways, um, if that's not enough, the ball was just flying off the ramp, like it was coming down and not hitting the in lane. So it was just driving me nuts because I couldn't qualify the mode. And eventually, by the by the fifth game, when the the ball um, broke like the um, xenomorph or whatever the alien when that broke I was like good I'm, I'm just done with it I tried playing it again at the um, pinball open when I had a break and I just can't get into the game I mean all the charm of that presentation and, and the brilliant sound work by David Theo cannot save that game from what it is and fundamentally no matter how good the rules are you have to have a game where the shots feel good and if you hit a shot and you're a good player and you know it should go someplace and it doesn't and it just misses or it's off because of bad geometry or bad flipper mechanics, I don't know what it is, then then you've lost out of the gate. See, I, I got to disagree with you a little bit here. Like, um, I, Once I found that, that scoop to start the modes, I felt it was pretty repeatable. And when I could get the ramps going, uh, I, when you hit the, the combo of left ramp, right ramp, scoop, that was awesome. Like, I was like, this feels really good. Um, I, I will concede that so the shots, it's not a Steve Ritchie game. It, 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 it's clunky. It's a relatively new designer. Um, but I'm a fan of when games take new chances and try new things. And I like Ghostbusters, even though it, it can be clunky at time, that right ramp is impossible to hit. But these are the things I like out of pinball and especially new designers. It's like, okay. That's the downside is you don't have the 20 to 30 years of experience of knowing like how 
steep a ramp should be to make it uh, smooth and, and the exact um, angle it should be off of a flipper and things like that. But I, I, I like that there's new designers out there taking risks like this. I like that the ball does unusual things. Like there's that kind of like hidden shot on the right. You can shoot it across the play field and it goes under the, under the little uh, ramp on the right and kind of pops back out how you're not expecting it. So I like when, when a game surprises me and, and does things that I don't expect. Uh, could the ramps used to be dialed in a little bit more? Yes. The, the shot to um, feed the upper left ramp from the right flipper. It's, it's kind of a weird, like you hit a stand up target and then it comes back. And then we, we didn't have a whole lot of success hitting that upper right or upper left ramp from the upper right flipper to feed the feed. the There's a multi ball you can start from that. We weren't able to get that going. But so pinball desirables I mean, he poses a good question. I, I, I try to answer this. Is it just a matter of different geometry, you know, quote unquote different, um, not necessarily bad geometry? The answer is I don't know. I don't know what what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think it's different geometry. I can adjust to different games, and I welcome different games and different geometry. That's what's interesting to me. I mean, there's some things on Walking Dead that has different geometry. Yeah, than like what I'm that used right to. ramp. This but it long feels right ramp. good, and I can and I can adjust to it. With this game, I just no matter what I did, I couldn't adjust to it. And I don't know if it's just the way the flipper mechs are also like the timing on yeah. the way. The, you know the timing on those flipper mechs are they're not Williams and they're not Stern they're their own proprietary thing right yeah they have like a whole unit that like lifts out of the, the yeah. play field so if that is off too from what we're trained for that could be throwing me off and it could be a combination of all those things but my play experience after eight games is I don't want anything to do with that game you know that that's sort of that and that's not good that's not good because fundamentally you want shots to feel good and you want the majority of shots to feel good and it can be different geometry but you can still appreciate it. like on ghostbusters on the right ramp mm-hmm. that's a tough shot that that's what it is that that's a tough shot all right and and i don't know if i love it or hate it but i respect it to a sense and it's i don't know if it's bad geometry i wouldn't i don't think i've ever called it that yeah mom fair enough anyways boom there was some deep pinball discussion much, right yeah. there. Well, you, you can tell how I feel about this game. <laughs> uh, rules. So uh, rules-wise, uh, I got a, a picture of the uh, the modes here I can show you. So Rubber Ducks or Yellow asks if uh, if this is one of the games produced since the new owners took over, or was it during Andrew Highway's tenure? Probably Andrew Highway because it's we just got it last month. Yeah, no, this is one of the ones that came through uh, Coin Taker, so it is one of the newer ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not one of the, like, protos or whatever that were floating around from last year this is one of the newer ones um so when uh coin taker posted a picture that about a month ago that they had like four of them this was one of those four um so uh, rules wise it's a mode based game it's got you can when you first step up to the game you can pick from aliens or alien aliens on the left alien with an s is on the right uh and then you work your way through a series of modes uh some of them are pretty clever um there's Certain modes where um, you have to avoid certain shots, and we were getting some feedback during the stream that people don't like that. They don't like being punished for making a certain shot. I kind of find it interesting that it's like, oh, I have to hit this. I want to avoid that. Um, uh, there's like the fine Jonesy mode. There's a cat uh, where like the mode shot will flash real quick, and then it'll move around. And you got to flash real quick. So you got to kind of pay attention to where that shot is and then hit it before it moves so um there's some interesting modes there's a lot of like stacking possibilities i got like the i think it was the xenomorph multi-ball and the the sentry gun going at the same time or something like that uh and that felt really good um so there's there's some good rules uh i i've I've only played this game for two hours so i can't speak to the longevity of the rules or uh the intricacies of it but i liked what was there i like the fact that like what's cool is that you can pick at the beginning of the game, whether you want to play through Alien or Alien. alien. So which mode would you want to play through? That's cool. A um, lot of multi-balls in the game. Like I said, I mean, I eventually had to walk through it and I just couldn't get over some of the issues of how it shot. Um, so I can't I can't comment in a, in a deep sense on the rules. Um, Kevin is the, the go-to person for that. But I didn't see any glaring problems from the limits of time I played on it. Um, it's pretty straightforward and, and it seemed fine. And again, the presentation... And the way they incorporated the modes and everything was was very well done. Yeah, it's still pretty early in code. They're still you know f- fixing bugs and you know it's it's not even 1.0 code yet. So, but uh, the, I know the guy. I was talking to David Thiel on uh, Facebook after the stream, 
And he was saying like the guys from uh, Highway Pinball watch these streams to see what's going on, and they use this information to like feedback cool. and and make improvements on the game. So it's awesome to see that they're they're sticking with it like that. It's it's definitely they've they've got a talented team. It seems behind the rules and the presentation. There's no doubt. Mm-hmm. There's no doubt about that. Uh, all right, let's talk last ability. Well, it lasted about eight games for me, five originally, and then I tried to put three more games in it. And every time I'm on location, it's broken. Yeah. It like the, our operator, it just wants to send it back. He's just done with the game because it's just constantly breaking. Um, and I'm be very honest about it right now. Um, I can sense his frustration. I can see the players at the summer open being frustrated. I was frustrated by the experience. The game is half baked. It should not have shipped. It's a broken game. Um, I, I, I guess a lot of this they can fix in code and it's coming, but why it's even being sold right now. And I can sympathize with the operator at Pocketeer. If we had bought that game in our business and was doing that, I'd just be done with it. I'd want it out of here and I want it back. And I would lose all confidence in a, in a company because that's something I'm setting out for the public that's taking money. And uh, it's just a mess. You know, Ron was saying the same thing mm-hmm. on uh, the Slam Tilt podcast, if you guys listen to that. It's very true. This, this, this notion of, of shipping games or selling games that aren't ready, um, it's just BS. And it needs to stop. Yep, this is the this is the thing. This is the problem with Alien is the reliability, and you know you see this with these startup boutique companies. It's like you, I don't know if they're really built for location. They're they're just not up to like Stern or Jersey Jack level of reliability and quality. I don't know if they don't put them through you know as strenuous of testing. Uh, they don't have the years of experience behind them to. Uh, in building these games they're they're starting with brand new everything brand new max brand new uh, operating systems brand new you know teams putting these things together um so like if you bring a new designer and throw them in at stern it's like okay they've got this group of folks around them who know how everything works it's like you can just focus on building this machine at at highway or you know spooky or whoever or you know dutch pinball you know these guys are trying to do everything brand new from the ground up and they're trying to build these machines that do more than any other pinball machine has done before and it's it's a huge challenge and uh unfortunately some of the games just aren't holding up Uh, they're trying to hit a home run and what they need is a base hit right you know what i mean like go simple and ramp it up from there Mm -hmm. uh so who was asking does the game lock up and i believe it was locking up too that that was one another problem with it it was locking up a lot of issues during the summer one during the summer open it would like flippers would die like people would start the xenomorph multi-ball and it's supposed to like hold the ball and the the tongue's supposed to come out but it would just drain and it would just like freeze up and yeah there was all sorts of problems with it so I wish I wish them luck, but man, this game should never have shipped. Yeah, it shouldn't. That's it. It's it's not ready. Um, so, anything else to say before we go to our our, our number rating? Nope. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry to say bad things because I, I I saw the potential. You know, yeah. I saw the glimmer, and I can see why somebody might be taken in and, and sort of that wishful thinking that I wish this game was was great. Um, let's see, what is it going to get? Uh, it's, uh, we'll run through the, uh, the, the score key again from zero two to is burn it three to five is expensive night light six to eight is solid game. How do you rate a broken is game? A, is, is a buy it. It's not like, like when we rated, um, uh, you know, we gave our lowest rating was to Batman 66, right? And that got a low rating because basically it's, it's a shell of a game. There's no code, mm-hmm. but it wasn't broken. You know, Batman 66 wasn't broken. We gave it a four. This is a. This is a game that's broken right now. You know, I think you got to rate it at that. Um, I'm going to go, I'm just, I'm not going to put burn it, <laughs> which honest to God, I, I think I'm justified, but it's a three out of 10. There, It's an expensive, expensive nightlight that it looks like some of these things that locking up can be fixed in uh, getting bugs out uh, and maybe the Xenomorph, but you know that doesn't fix the fact that it's it's a clunk fest to me. Um, yeah, I just have I it, it's too bad. It had potential, but it's just uh, it's just not a fun machine for me. Yeah. So for me, I had I had the benefit of playing this at the right time. I had a ton of fun with it. Uh, I think what's there is great. Um, 
the mood and presentation and everything like we talked about and the modes and the stacking and you know it's got this unique play field layout that i like and um the toys are cool but when a game works for three weeks maybe on location and then it can't hold up to the folks coming in from out of town to, to play this that's huge and disappointing so i'd love to rate it higher but i, I gotta give it a five so that's generous in my it, book yeah you it, give it higher than batman 66 i, I will say this yeah, batman 66 I, I, I had more fun with it than batman the shots are fine on batman they yeah feel good but i i don't have any it's it didn't get me to that same level of excitement that when i was yeah playing, you know it, it was yeah just, they did a good job with this, this the presentation is practically a 10 out of 10 on that game yeah that's a little high but i mean the presentation's at least an eight out of ten mm-hmm. um that's that's not contested those the software guys um sound lighting talented nailed it yep as a whole and the code talented. is way like like who said batman still doesn't have any code yeah the code on alien is good there's a lot there there's a lot yeah. of cool stuff to do but if uh, if but, <laughs> If, the, if it's, it's the reliability of the. Yeah, it's a clunky too. It's clunky. <laughs> it's too. It's a clunk fest. All right. So there you have it.